Yo, what's going on? What's going on, everybody out there? You know, welcome back to my channel, Hate on Joe Collectible Chronicles. And I want to share something with y'all. So today, I got my statue in from Sideshow. This is a statue I've been trying to get for a while, man, for a while. So, you know, I want to tell y'all, you know, a little bit, you know, what I think about the statue, how much I paid for it, how much trouble I had getting it from UPS and everything. So first thing I got to say that you notice right at the box, Sideshow has some beautiful boxes. Like I love all the design they have on the, all the little cubes and stuff popping in and out like it's in a danger room. You know, you got a real good picture of the statue on the front right there. Where you're pretty much seeing it, the, um, the dynamic pose that she's in. And all this all the way around the box, it's like a lot of detail. It's a real nice box. Like, it's amazing. So... I think they do a really good job on their boxes so far. I don't have a lot of sideshow pieces, but this is probably my second piece, but I am very impressed with it. This statue right here took me a minute to pull the trigger on it. I've been wanting it for a while, but you know, I kind of take my time on sideshow statues, like any of my, really all my premium statues because they cost a lot. So I really try to make sure, you know, I'm prepared to get it. So anyway, with this statue right here, a lot of times on their website, they have it where they have a deal by days. So, you know, you might hop on there one day and it's, you know, it's a, it's one price. And then next time it might be no shipping or it might be 25% off, 35% off, stuff like that. So I was trying to wait for a good deal on this statue, but I ended up just jumping on it, you know, out of fear of it selling out. Because, you know, once they sell out, these statues are so hard to get. And then like on the aftermarket, they be, they be skyrocket. So first off, let me say this statue right here, I purchased this from Sideshow. So this statue retail for $705. Thanks to my wife, I got a $25 discount, which she ordered this statue for me. Came up to $844, which wasn't bad. They pretty pricey, and then they more than, you know, than an arcade one up. But what I do like about them is you have the the value of, like the resale value is really, really high on these statues. A lot of times, depending on how long you have it, if you ever want to sell it, you know, you can double your money, you can flip them. You know, things like that. So that's one thing I like about buying them. My problem I had with UPS. So when I ordered this statue right here, you know, I work a lot. I work long hours. So to do this particular customer right here, you got to get to this door over here. So you got all these steps that you got to go on. And then you got an option. You go up there to get to the truck or you can go this way. Now, sometimes you can back up right here. But there was another truck that was right there, so I didn't move mine because I had already staged my product up, and I didn't want to move the truck and risk all my. And you know, it's hard to be home when they deliver these, and because they're so high value, you have to have a signature for them to drop it off. They just can't just drop it off. Usually, in my arcade one ups, they just drop it off. They'll just have it by the front door. They might slide it by the garage, but these right here, you got to sign for it. So I missed it when the head came, because I was still at work. So then the people was like, they're going to drop it off at the um, the local area over here where they, where I guess like a little drop station or whatever. So, you know, I had a little note that was on my door. So I went to the spot and they didn't even have it yet. Find the man didn't even drop it off. He said he didn't have time to make it back around and drop his package, drop the package off. So I had to wait till the next day. They said it'd be there at nine o'clock in the morning. Luckily for me, I was off that day. They had me on standby. So I wasn't able to go there. Went there at 9 o'clock, statue wasn't there. So now I called UPS, talked to him some more, got in touch with the driver and everything. Find out that, you know, he said he didn't have time to make it there. It's going to be there probably around 12 o'clock or whatever. He'll hit me up here, text me, and let me know what's up. So he hit my wife up, let her know what's up. But basically, she was doing the communication, you know, with the whole process of it. It really wasn't me. And she pretty much told me the statue was there for me to pick it up. So I was finally able to get the statue, I want to say about like one o'clock or whatever. But like it just took a lot of, you know, a lot of changes just trying to get it, just to, just to get it in hand. But I'm so glad I finally got it now. 
And I'm, you know, I'm excited. I'm ready to bust this thing open and see if the statue really do look like this and, and how the good the quality is. I mean, I've seen a few reviews on it, but it ain't nothing like, you know, getting it for yourself and seeing how it is. For me, Rogue has always been my favorite female Marvel character of all time. She's always hit the right combination of sexiness and Southern charm. With just a slight touch of road skin, she can take your mutant powers, your abilities, and everything about you, including your memories. Which is what she did to Captain Marvel. She started out as a bad guy with the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants with Mystique. And later, ended up joining the X-Men. Alright, so let's look at... out this box and the contents of which so it comes with her saw that she's attached to that attached to her base then you have her left hand you have her body sculpt and you have her head sculpt now if i would hit exclusive version of this statue i would have had a different head sculpt that has rolled with curly hair this head sculpt is synonymous with the 90s show that used to come on that i grew up with watching on tv you look a little on the weary side honey been a long shift it was, till you showed up. Ooh, it's a tad chilly in here, don't you think? Like they say, cold hands? <laughs> so I wish I could have got it, but the one I have has the straight hair. All right, so one of the most important things is the addition size. So on this statue right here, out of 2000, I got 1594. So this is how her base is and you see how her base has like the cracks and everything in it it's literally like she's yanking this this saw from the floor now i added the bolts to it and you see right here the bolts and then what's cool is when you look at it closely you can see that the bolts you know come from this part of the floor you know it has a detail in it like that that you can see that and the bolts are bent where you can tell each bolt was literally like ripped out from where it was. Like this is a very detailed statue. You have the bolts in the, on the, this side right here. You have the bolts in the back where they didn't rip from. And you can see the strain that it caused on the material. I guess like this glass, it's like a glass type of material that the dance room is made out of. I guess how I was able to shape shift the room. And you can see she's like literally ripping the conduit like out of it, how it's breaking apart. That too is very well done. I like how the saw is all bent and dented and contorted. She's basically pulling this saw out of the floor. I surmise it's a danger room effortlessly. And you can tell how she didn't, didn't bent it all up, how the metal was all contorted. Like I think it's a nice job side show on everything. I like how the coils, the wires are posable and everything. Look how the metal's all bent. So now I have the saw keyed in to the base, which only has one key that keys it in. And you see how the, the uh, base is all cracked open from the tension of her pulling on the saw like she did. Saw is done very well. I think it's actually real metal. At least that's the way it feels. Very impressive. Now we have the road statue herself, her body sculpt. And as you can see, it's very, it's amazing. Like the detail to it, how the leather, it's like wrapping around her body and you can see how tight it is because road outfit is mad tight. Peace. You cannot oppose me. You cannot. Like all the others. You must be exterminated. So this is what the statue looks like once you put it on the base. And like I said, this statue is done very well. The detail is really good. Look at like the dirt like on her on her boots like you tell the leather being used you know has that used leather look to it you see the, how the shading is you know how her outfit is shaped you know you see the tightness of her suit like you know like just you can see it like the lines like how it's just just gripping her body this is a very phenomenal piece her jacket looks so realistic how it's pulled back you see all the little details in her jacket and also, too, I like how she has the, the X symbol right here, badge, you know, her jacket. You can see that little strap right here with little buckle. I mean, all this is done very well. 
this is done very well. How her shadowing is on her face, like her makeup, her eyes. It's like she has that, that smirk, you know, like she knows she the shit, because she is. A lot of people say she look like Fergie. And to me, I mean, I can see it, but I don't have a problem with it. I think Fergie look good, you know? But all in all, I look at the little dimple she got on her side right there. That's, that's nice. That's really detailed. That's really good. Look at the detail on her lips. Like she got the Angela Jolie lips, you know what I'm saying? This is a close up on the head scope of Rogue. And as you see, I have the version with the straight hair. That little style phone right there. And I like how each individual strand is sculpted. I'm not sure if she has a magnet where her head goes, but it kind of feel like it a little bit. But you just insert it in, in like this. And that's it. She's put together. So didn't take long to install this statue at all. I mean, like I said, it was only like five pieces. So boom, bam, here's a statue in its completed form. So the verdict. Well, I gotta say, I'm I was very impressed by this statue. I'm glad that it really came out looking exactly like I wanted it to look. I love how she looks like she's really actually flying from all angles. Just a very amazing piece. And a little backstory on how I got this statue. So my wife shouts out to her for getting me this. She had hit me up one day when I was at work. And she was like, hey, did you check your emails? I was like, no. So I, I, I looked at the phone and I see that, you know, it's a message from Sideshow saying that, you know, she ordered a statue for me. So, you know, I was on the fence about it, you know, just trying to decide if I want it, if I didn't want it. And I'm just glad that she was able to do this for me. Like, it's a big deal, you know, when your wife go the extra mile like this for no reason. An like $800 statue, you know, ain't nothing to sneeze at. That's that's a lot of money just for a gift, just for no reason. So, shouts out to my wife. I love my wife. I really love how she support me and my hobby and everything that I do. So this is what the statue looked like added to the collection on my 1-4 scales. I think it looks amazing. Really brings out the rest of the statues. So yeah, so statue collecting is something that you might be interested in. You know, hit me on the comment section. Let me know what you think. If you think it was a wise decision, a wise purchase or not, you know, just let me know. Um, I'm going to keep the content coming. You know, I'm going to keep trying to show more things to the Rubik's Cube game room. And until next time, peace.